Like I've already told you many times, Mumu, I'm the prettiest giraffe in the whole wide world. Like I've told you a thousand times, you're the only giraffe, and that's why you're the prettiest. I detect envy in your words, and you know that envy is very ugly. The only ugly one here is you. What do you mean I'm ugly? I'm the most beautiful one in the universe. No way, I'm the prettiest one here. There has to be a way to find out which of the two of us is the prettiest. We could ask our friends and let them decide. Olga, can you help us out for a minute? Of course, what do you need? We need to decide which of the two of us is the prettiest and we want you to tell us who the winner is. But that's just silly. You're both very pretty, I can't compare you. You see, Mumu? I'm the prettiest of all. Not even Olga can deny it. Cut it out, Rita. You're both very pretty and I vote for both of you. Rita, maybe Olga's right and we're both so pretty that nobody can decide which one of us would win first place in a beauty contest. Hmm, we'll see about that. Ha <laughs> ha. Rita can't stop saying that she's the prettiest but I think that everyone is pretty in their own way. Don't worry, Moo Moo. She'll get over it. flower and this tree what lovely green leaves hello Milo what are you doing I'm taking pictures of the prettiest things in the garden so how come you haven't taken a picture of me Rita I said the prettiest things hey Milo don't be mean to me come on take a picture of me I can't, Rita. I'm very busy and I have no time to waste because I have to submit my photos to the local newspaper. Are you telling me that those photos will come out in the local newspaper? Yes. I have to be in those photos. Let me help you. I'm sorry, Rita, but I have a lot of work to do. You're not going to win this one. Please go away, Rita. You're bugging me. I don't know what you're talking about, Milo. I'm just here peacefully admiring nature. Rita, please. Rita, let me take these photos in peace. What? Milo is taking photos of Rita? I have to be in the photos. I'll go talk to him. Now you'll see how pretty oh. you look. Oh. Oh. Now I'm going to show you what a flash looks like on your whole face. Hmm? These two are going to give me the best photos of the year. <laughs> oh. How dare you do that? When I catch you, I'll... Oh. 
How do you expect oh. to catch me? You're nothing but a big slow giraffe. I'll show you. I won first prize for the best photos. You want to see them? I want to see how pretty I came out. I'm sure I came out much prettier. I've named this photo Crazy About the Flowers. I've named this one Autumn. And this one doesn't have a name. <laughs> It's been a while since I've come here. This place is always filled with sheep. Yeah, I know. The sheep are a bit confused, don't you think? You could call it that. I'd say they're very confused. They never notice what's going on around them. <laughs> I bet you if we stood right in the middle of them, they wouldn't even notice. And how would we do that? That's easy. We disguise ourselves as sheep and go and visit them. They'll think we're sheep, and when we're among the herd, we'll start running and shouting and we'll scare them. But why do you want to scare them when they're so peaceful? And besides, where are we going to find the costumes? Ah, uh, it's a scientific experiment, Moo Moo. I want to prove that they won't notice a thing unless we scare them. As far as the, the costumes, that's easy. Since sheep have so much wool once a year, they have to be sheared. And all the wool is kept. We'll go and get that wool. And what should we tell the others? The truth, that they should wait here and that we'll be disguised as sheep. Momo and I are going to do a few things. We'll be right back. What are you two up to? We're not up to anything. Rita wants to do a science experiment, even if I don't really understand it. We're going to go look for some wool to disguise ourselves. <laughs> yes, that. That's it, to disguise ourselves. We'll be right back. Those two are definitely up to something. Today they seem pretty calm, and I don't think they're doing anything bad. That bit about wanting to disguise themselves for some scientific experiment doesn't sit right with me. When they come back, we'll see where it was they went. This disguise is going to be awesome. Come on out. Come out and let me see it. Wait a second, ah. I've almost got it. <laughs> you left some wool for me, didn't you? Are you almost ready? Woo! Everything's set. Are you ready, Moo Moo? Do I look like a sheep? Wow, that's awesome. You look like a long-necked sheep. <laughs> now it's my turn. Hurry and come out already! That fits you perfectly! You'll see how cool this is going to be! <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen those two. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Look at those two strange-looking sheep. Yeah, they do seem odd. I don't know, there's something strange about those two. Are you all blind? Those two sheep are Moo Moo and Rita disguised as sheep. Oh, you're right. Where are they going? <laughs> this is easier than I thought it would be. This is cool. Now what do we do? Let's keep bellowing, and soon you'll see how my scientific experiment will unfold successfully. Ba 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 what? What are they doing?
Let them play. Nothing's gonna happen to them. That's not necessarily true. When Alfreda the sheepdog sees that they're not sheep, she'll throw a fit and, and stop biting them. Shouldn't we warn them? Let them learn a lesson. Okay, Moo Moo, are you ready to scare them now? <laughs> yeah, yes I am. How do we do it? We'll count to three and then we'll scare them. All right, sounds good. One... Two... Ow! That hurt! A dog bit my butt! Ow! That hurt! Me too! Ah! The experiment has gone bad! I hope you both learned your lesson. Jump in the water, Rita! That's brilliant! I'm floating! All right, I'm floating too! Wool doesn't float! Moo Moo, where did you get this wool? Quack, quack, quack! Quack! Look over there! It's quack. Moo Moo! Everyone look! Quack, 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 quack! Quack, 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 quack! <laughs> hey guys, you coming in? Milo, you coming? Alfred, you coming? Don't worry about me. You go ahead. Hello. Hello. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, Yay! quack, 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 quack. Yay! 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 Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. quack, 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 quack. You know what? Yesterday I saw a really ugly fly that wouldn't stop bothering me. Olga, every fly is ugly and they also smell bad. How disgusting! A big fly with hair all over the place? I don't know what they're good for. All they do is bother you. Well, just like you, Rita. You're like a fly. You do nothing but bother us all the time. Me? That's not true at all. Uh, 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 you are a stinky fly. And you're like a green booger. That's so gross. A green <laughs> and stinky <laughs> booger. <laughs> Quit biting, you two. You're like two flies that do nothing but fly around and fight. But she's the one who started it. No, you're the one who started it. Hi there. Why are those two fighting? Ah! A spider! Somebody help me! Ah! Where's their spider? Spiders gross me out. Go away, bug! <laughs> I just wanted to say... Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, but just go somewhere else. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Go far away, dear. Real far away. Make sure we can't see you. Did you see how hairy and ugly she was? I don't know if she was ugly or not, but I'm really scared of spiders. She was really ugly, and we don't want her around us. Hi, what were those screams that I heard? There was a spider right there, and it scared us half to death. It scared you? <laughs> spiders are harmless. They only attack when they feel threatened, just like bees do. Whatever you say, but it was a red, ugly spider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red and ugly? I hope you don't mean little spider. Who is little spider? Little spider is my friend. She's a really nice and funny spider. I hope you weren't mean to her. She's a very good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, but we didn't know she was your friend. But it's a... Uh... A hairy spider! I can't believe it. You cannot judge anyone before you get to know them. I'm gonna look for her, and when I find her, you should apologize. Oh dear, we really were mean to little spider. Yeah. If I had known she was Milo's friend, I wouldn't have been so mean to her. It still makes my skin crawl, but I'm gonna try to talk to her. Little spider! Little spider, where are you? 
Don't pay attention to what my friend said to you. You're my friend, and I want you to come with me. My friend said they want to apologize to you. Little spider, don't hide. Let me explain. I never want to see your friends again. They were all really mean to me. Little spider, I'm so sorry, but my friends are really nice. It's just that they're afraid of of things they don't understand. But I told them you're my friend, and from now on, they're going to be nice to you. Are you sure they won't get scared when they see me? I assure you. Come on, climb on my arm and let me introduce you. Here we are. <clears throat> Little spider, I'm very sorry for what we said to you before. I just got scared. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. I know that you're good friends of Milo's, and he told me that you're nice to all the other animals. I, I, just wanted to say I'm sorry for the mean things I said to you. I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, I feel the same as Milo. End of story. I forgive all of you. You see, little spider? Now you have some new friends. Well, now that we're friends, I'm going to tell you a joke. A joke? A spider telling a joke? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Rita! What is red and dangerous? Strawberry jam with the tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> was a good one, little spider. Can you tell us another one? What do you get if you mix a rose with a tarantula? I don't know, but you better not try to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn to tell a joke. <laughs> but you're no good at telling jokes, Moo Moo. What do you mean I'm no good? I am great at telling jokes. I'm sorry, Moo Moo. The truth is that we never understand your jokes because you start laughing before you finish telling them, and then you never finish them. This one you'll understand for sure. It's really good. Why did the chicken cross the road? Mmm, I don't know, Moo Moo. To get to the other side. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> did you get it, huh? Come on, don't go. I want to tell another one.